Storing all your gear during a medieval festival can be really, really hard work. It can be really hard to find the right way to store everything which looks authentic and also has uh, a functionality to it, which is similar to what we have in modern times because that's how we live today. G'day guys, my name is Ben from Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of reviews of equipment, lots of DIY videos about costuming and furniture and in today's video we're going to make a set of medieval shelves. These will be collapsible, there'll be no fixtures, no fittings, no anything like that. So it's super simple in terms of that but there's a lot of work to do. Alrighty, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make the two sides. These will be the tall sides of the shelves and uh, they're going to be approximately 1.8 meters or roughly six foot tall and I'm going to have a total of five shelves. And that way I've got heaps of room to organize all my gear, uh, all my, especially around my cooking area, that kind of stuff, because that's just an area which I like to keep nice and tidy. Uh, and part of my background long ago was I used to be a manager in a hotel for their whole kitchen area. Alrighty, let's go. Alrighty, so here's my shelves. And you might be able to see that I've marked out where I'm going to be doing my drilling to cut some holes for the pegs on each shelf. So each shelf has a total of uh, four holes. Radio, and I've also got this uh, nice Norse carving which uh, I partially copied and partially did myself. That's a, a Norse wolf. So my uh, influence is the whole kind of uh, 12th century, sort of mid 1100s really. Uh, which will be largely sort of English and French inspired. So there we go. Let's uh, let's see how we go. Now I've just learnt this new trick. It's amazing. All you need to do to make a total of um, nine more holes identical to that is click your fingers twice. It's amazing, it works. Watch this. Ta da! As if by the magic of YouTube, we now have all our sets of holes done. Alrighty, now I'm just going to run a, a route around it just to make sure the edges are all nice and smooth. You can see this wood's actually been out in the weather a bit. Um, I've been trying to get around to this project for a really long time and it's just not really happened for me. So I'm really glad that I finally got around to it and uh, finally making it all happen. I've marked out uh, these shelves um, already, so we've got four ready to go. This is going to be the part where it plugs in essentially into the sides. I just need to cut these out. So we now have uh, four of these nice shelves uh, cut out. So this is obviously going to go inside the um, the sides of the shelf and you can see these holes just here and that's going to be some plugs that will temporarily hold the shelves in place uh, whilst we're on uh, medieval camping activities and there's a new trick I've just learned so this is a, a really good one for everyone who's into uh, medieval woodwork just take a look at this if you've ever wondered how to make one of these into four exact copies this is a really great trick to know all you do is clap your hands twice and suddenly there's four. My gosh. Yes, dad joke I know, don't worry. I'm here all week, or at least for the next 10 minutes. Now, with the sides completed, uh, I'm gonna make a total of 16 plugs. That's four for each shelf. Four fours of 16 and all that. And then we're gonna start on the sides. Uh, you might be able to see, I've already started to mark out uh, where I'm gonna put some of the carvings. This is gonna be quite a big shelf realistically, but still really good for um, medieval encampment activities and so on. 
Let's keep going. Uh, alrighty guys, it is now finally finished. It's taken quite a bit longer to make than I thought it would. Uh, I've had um, quite a lot of personal stuff to do so I haven't really been able to uh, spend as much time on it as I wanted to. Uh, all in all I think it's probably taken about maybe 12, 14 hours worth of work. Um, but definitely something that's very valuable to me and it's, uh, it's a really good fun project to have completed. First time I've ever done carving and it hasn't come out quite as well as I wanted it to. Uh, so that's a bit of a shame. And some of the pencil lines haven't and the ink lines haven't come out of it either which is also a bit of a shame. Other than that, this is a really really good piece of kit. Um, I, I, really, I really do like this. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, I'm very glad I made it and I'm quite proud of it. Uh, so there we go. Let's, uh, let's take a bit more of a look. Alrighty, so we've ended up with five shelves. Let's just take a bit of a look at the carvings. There we go. So they've come out alright and I think for a first time that's not bad. Uh, as I say, the ink lines didn't come out as I hoped, which is a shame. And some of the pencil lines are still visible, which is also a shame. Uh, the pegs aren't quite as, as well done as I hoped. Uh, so I'm going to have to rebuild those. Uh, but that's a shame. But this is all a learning experience. And I think you have to be your own sort of most kind of intense critic. And be honest about where you need to improve. Alrighty guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you learned something. Uh, please like, subscribe and share and I will catch you in my next video.